Another team that lost that probably should have won, the New York Jets. Man, that, that talk about a season in disarray. And what's funny is they ended up beating the Texans, but the, the loss to the Patriots, that's just, you can't lose to the Patriots like that. And, and Aaron Rodgers didn't even play terribly, but uh, the, the Jets' defense struggling and, and the Patriots made the plays they needed to make, you know? And, and, and that's just, I mean, it's obviously it sucks for Aaron, but at this point, I think you, you have to admit the truth is that the Jets are not a good team. Um, like, I, I'm ready to stop talking about the Jets, to be honest. I, I'm ready to stop talking about them. Of course, if they win games, we'll talk about them. But I don't I don't think we, we need to really talk about every time they lose. It's just funny when they lose to these bad teams. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, Drake May didn't even play. He left the game with an injury in the first quarter. Uh, Jacoby Brissett was the guy in there. And credit to Jacoby, because he's, he's won both of their games. Uh, Drake May hasn't really finished a game that he's won yet. Um, but the, the Jets are just, I don't know, like, th it feels like they keep adding pieces and they keep getting worse. Like, they were, they, they lost and then they fired Sala. They got a new head coach. Like, oh yeah, we're fired up. We're fired up. Lost again. Then they traded for Devante. It's like, okay, we got Devante back. We're getting better. Lost again. Lost even worse, right? It was a close, remember, those first two losses were close. The Minnesota loss it was a one-score game. Uh, it was 23-17, and then the Buffalo was even closer than that, 23-20. to After they lost to Buffalo by three points, they trade for Devontae Adams to play the Steelers. They get destroyed by the Steelers with Devontae. Then they get Hassan Riddick back, and they lose to the one-win Patriots. I mean, it's, it's just it's a joke at this point because they keep on adding pieces. They got Devontae in the building. They got Hassan Riddick back. They got the new head coach. They got rid of Hackett calling plays it feels like they're doing what they, they what they think is going to upgrade the team they're making upgrades and yet their their losses are getting worse and worse right losing by six to minnesota that's okay right losing by three to buffalo that's acceptable losing by 17 to pittsburgh was bad and losing to the patriots no matter how close it was you can't lose to the one win patriots you that has to be a layup that has to be a easy win and of course they 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 turned around and beat the texans and you know they're three and six that do they have life um yeah they don't really have life because if they had if they were four and five with a win over the texans that would be something right but at three and six i just don't think that there's anything left for the texans i don't think there's any hope left aaron has to retire at this point because he he if he retires after this year he can chalk it up to the acl he can say, look, I, I thought I was going to be able to be healthy, but I wasn't healthy, and I tried my best. I gave it my all, but it was just a lost season. If Aaron just does that, no one's going to remember this season. I've said this before. Like, Remember Matt Ryan's last season when he went to Indianapolis, got hurt, was not good. They, they lost a bunch of games. They, I think they went 4-12, and and he, he got benched, and then he got unbenched, then he got hurt, and then they fired their coach, and it was Jeff Saturday, and Sam Ellinger made a couple starts, and... It was a mess, right? Remember that year? I barely remember it. And I think in about five years, nobody's going to remember it. Matt Ryan, it, whether or not he gets into the Hall of Fame, it's not because of that season, right? It's He'll get into the Hall of Fame if, if they decide to because of his time in Atlanta. And if he doesn't get into the Hall of Fame, it's not because of that one year with the Colts. It's because they don't think what he did in Atlanta was good enough, right? Nobody's judging Matt Ryan for having an injury-riddled final season with a new team. Uh, and a fired head coach. That's the same situation as Rodgers, right? Injuries, uh, not, I mean, he's battling back from a brutal injury. He's old, head coach got fired. There's a lot, you know, new team, new city. There's a lot of similarities between this year for Rodgers and that year in Indianapolis for Matt Ryan. And I think that similarly, I think history will forget about this year for Rodgers if he just calls it quits. But if he keeps playing, if he keeps trying to, to succeed in New York and he keeps struggling, that is when it starts to become a little more memorable. Two years is a lot more than one. Three years is a lot more than two. Um, and so the more Rodgers does this, the more he's going to be judged for it. If you call it quits after one year, chalk it up to the ACL, you're going to be fine. Uh, it's not going to ruin your legacy. But if he keeps going... Man, I, I worry about him. So I think this this has to be his last season. At this point, it has to be.